Hi there, good afternoon. This is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. It's uh, Wednesday, March 13th of 2013, and today is an anniversary, believe it or not. A pretty major anniversary. Do any of you know what happened 20 years ago today? Well, for those of you who um, don't remember or hadn't been born yet, a blizzard struck the the east coast of the United States 20 years ago, known as the Superstorm. It's um, what you're seeing right now is um, weather channel footage um, that I got off YouTube. Um, thank you to whoever uploaded that. And let's see, uh, I got Weather Channel's website up right now. Um, it pretty much stretched all the way from Florida to Maine, so pretty much the entire east coast. Now in Around Florida, it was more like a hurricane. We had there were tornadoes everywhere. And it was a big mess down there. But once you got into about Georgia, that's when the snow started. Um, there was, let's see, uh, a few facts about it. Uh, thousands of people were isolated by record snow, especially in the southeast, which is where I live. An incredible 60 inches of snow fell on Mount. Leconte, I guess I'm pronouncing it right, in Tennessee's Great Smoky Mountains. Double-digit snowfall totals were measured in 20 states from Alabama to Maine. 17 inches of snow and 6-foot drifts near Birmingham, Alabama, and 10-foot drifts in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Up to 6 inches of snow in the Florida Panhandle, so apparently they did get snow down there. Hundreds of roof collapses reported due to the weight of the snow. Over 200 hikers had to be rescued from the mountains of Tennessee and North Carolina. Four states set all-time statewide records for deepest snow. Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Maryland. So yeah, it was a big mess here. And we had, um, and in the Greensboro area, I, I really can't find any information on what it was like around here, but I, if... But from what I recollect, and from newspaper articles I've seen at the library, we got about four inches of snow, and if I recall correctly, we got about an inch of ice. Yeah, um, and a lot of wind, so even in Greensboro, it was a pretty big mess. So with all the wind and an inch of ice, there were widespread power outages all throughout the Greensboro area. In fact, um, our local CBS affiliate, WFMY, to Channel 2, um, actually got knocked off the air for the entire day because they didn't have a backup generator at the time. So, um, there was no CBS in <laughs> Greensboro that day. And, what else? Oh yeah, my memories, um, I was three years old at the time, and... The storm hit at about 10 o'clock that morning. It was a Saturday. And at, and at 12 o'clock noon that day, around or somewhere around that time, we lost power. And so I had to pack my bags and walk up. Not, well, my parents took me to my grandmother's house, who was just two doors away from me at the time. And I spent the night there because she still had power. I remember... Um, about eight o'clock that night, we did have a a a power surge, and my grandmother freaked out, but it came back on in about a second. And then the next day, somehow, I, on the fourteenth, I I wound up at my aunt's house, who was about five minutes from me, and I remember getting a phone call. Well, not me, but I remember us getting a phone call, saying that power had been restored to our house. So my aunt took all of us home, and her and her little red um, Chevy Camaro <laughs> fit us all in there somehow, and we came back home. So yeah, it's I will never forget that blizzard. It's I don't know why, but I've always been fascinated with that. I guess nostalgia and and it yeah. <laughs> 
And for those of you wondering, the number one song the day the blizzard hit 20 years ago today was Informer by Snow. Which is kind of ironic in a way. <laughs> but um, let's uh, get the camera off the tripod and take a look outside and compare conditions to March 13th, 1993 to March 13th, 2013. I have to make this quick. I don't have much battery on my camera right now, but blue skies, sun's kind of out. Big difference from 20 years ago, huh? <laughs> and it's about 50 degrees outside. Um, for those of you watching my video, feel free to comment with your memories on what you were doing 20 years ago today during the blizzard. It, so yeah, <laughs> I'll never forget that day. Yep. And 20 years ago at this time, um, from that, from those grapevines down, we did not own that. We didn't own that until 1998 or 1999. So none of that was there. It was just a field. And that white shed wouldn't come for about another year. You know, it's kind of interesting looking back the way things were 20 years ago. So, for now, this is Billy Kors signing off on March 13th, 2013.